All right, hello everybody. It is Coach Scythe, your coach of the Atlanta Braviaries, bringing to you um, LET Week One. So this week we are taking on Irake Beggar. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. I'm so sorry. And the Boiler Range Boltons. Um, and let's let's talk about the team that my man could be bringing this time around. Um, so he has access to Gothitel, Villaboom, Halucha, Incineroar, Dublade, Drudigan, Lapras, Raichu, Wigglytuff, Tentacool, and Trapinch. So, um, I'm kind of scared, not gonna lie, because he can trap my mons. Shadow uh, trapping is allowed, so Gothitelle, uh Shadow Tag can be uh, very scary. I expect him to bring Gothitel, uh, Villaboom, Halucha for sure. Um, Incineroar, I think for this team specifically, is a good bring, but my overall team, don't know. Um, I don't think he... I feel like it's a possibility to see that coming. Um, I think he might be in Drud again, maybe the Tentacool to get up his hazards, and it also kind of a rapid spin, which takes the shoulders off of um, hazard control off of Halucha's back. So those are the potential mons he could be bringing. Let's talk about my team. So... For starters, we have a Quick Blade, the Bisharp, Run, an Iron Head, Knockoff, Sucker Punch, and Sword Dance with the Life Orb, obviously Defiant, because that's all you ever really need when it comes to Bisharp. Um, he outspeeds um, not max speed minus the nature Gothitel, and that's his fourth fastest mon. Um, so it gonna, it's going to outspeed a lot of things. The only things that probably won't outspeed is Rillaboom, Halucha, and max speed Tentacruel. So that's basically it next up we have echo our noivern with heavy duty boots with frisk air slash dark pulse drago meteor defog um he is our hazard removal for the week he outpaces uh max speed halucha which halucha is his fastest mon if i'm not mistaken let me just check up on that yes halucha is his fastest mon so he outspeeds everything max speed halucha outspeeding everything um so we have Prism here, our Necrozma, Shiny Necrozma with the Life Orb, Photon Geyser, Heat Wave, Dark Pulse, and Earth Power, um, outspeeding Max Max Speed Gothitelle. So that includes the nature and everything. Um, so that's, and then it's outspeeding basically everything besides Halucha Rillaboom, which I don't think it necessarily needs to outspeed. Obviously it doesn't want to take a knockoff from Rillaboom, but um, it's all right. Um, and then next up we have Spectra. Um, Gardevoir coming back uh, with Trace and Leftovers. A bit of a, I guess, a bulkier set, you could say. Um, I do want to note that Necrozma and um, Necrozma and Noivern do have some uh, HP investment because they don't need to be max out, max speed in order to outspeed what I want them to. So I just put the rest in HP just to have a little more bulk just in case it can um, live a... Uh, particular hits because it has that extra stuff okay so next up we have Gardevoir with uh, leftovers rock and moon blast psychic Myst mystical fire and willow wish uh, mystical fire is here for the dew blade that can try to wall it um, it can hit Rilla boom which like I said I feel like is coming and willow wish you know burn on nice burn on anything is is really nice um, it puts Mons on a timer and just slowly chips away, so Burn can definitely be very helpful. Um, and next up we have Hot Rod, the Darmanitan, with uh, running the Choice Band this week with U-Turn, Flare Blitz, Earthquake, and Rock Slide. This outspeeds Max Speed Rillaboom, um, which is, I believe, one of his faster Mons. I think it's his third fastest, if I'm not mistaken, his third fastest Mon. Um... It's, it's it's okay. I'm sorry. I'm getting off track. It's his third fastest mod. Um, it won't outspeed Raichu. It won't, but I think that's the only mod and Halucha. But those are that's basically it. Um, so it outspeed everything else as long as it's not scarfed and yeah. So this thing is honestly just here to click buttons. It's my button clicker. Um, and next up we have Cursed Stone Arun Regis. Um, max HP, uh, max attack, and then I think it's. We have a bit of special defense investment. Let me just check on that. I believe it is special defense investment. Uh, let me just check. Mm, yeah, it is the special defense investment that we have it in. Okay, just wanted to make a uh, make sure. 
with Poltergeist, Earthquake, Toxic Spikes, and Stealth Rocks. Poltergeist actually does like at max 88% of the Halucha, which is really, really good. Um, I feel like Halucha might be try to might try to come in on this Rune Regis, but it yeah, like on Earthquake switch-ins. So yeah. Um rocking with the focus sash. I originally had leftovers on it, but I traded it out for focus sash because so I want to be able to get out my hazards. I think Rune Regis might be my lead depending on what he brings. Um just to get out my stealth rocks, because a lot of things get either two code or O code after stealth rocks damage. Like from from Necrozma, I believe Gothitelle gets two code by um by Dark Pulse after Rock's damage. Um, if I can get up Toxic Spikes too, that's going to be great. Um, and I do want to mention that Incineroar is a huge shoot threat to my team. Besides Bisharp, uh, the minimum amount of damage that a uh, knockoff will do is like 75%. Um, so my only switch into a knockoff would be Bisharp and then just to get obliterated by Flare Blitz. I'd need to have, I need to sack something essentially if he brings Incineroar on me, try to knock off. You could also go for a U-turn, which a couple of my mons can take, like Necrozma, or not Necrozma, uh, Noivern and Darmanitan. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to start doing these little team previews before the matches just to make editing a little more easier for me um, because I don't know how to explain it but I have some new editing stuff as you'll see the new layout um, and you'll see my mods on the side I don't see it on the OBS layout because it's not an OBS layout it's post editing layout stuff so it's pretty cool um, but yeah we are about to do the battle we said two o'clock PST PM. Um, it is 157, so we have three minutes. So uh, I'm going to end it here, and I will see you all at the battle. See you very soon, very soon. <laughs> all right, and we are back. So he does bring um, the Incineroar. He does bring the Lapras, the Trap Inch, Halucha, and Rillaboom. So we got the first four, technically the, the last one. So we're going to lead. Um, I think my lead is going to be Runerigus. He could go ahead and lead Trampage to get up his Stealth Rocks, because I believe Trampage gets that. Um, but I don't see any form of removal other than Halucha, which is actually really nice. And I don't care about rocks all too much besides um, besides Darmanitan. So let me write this. Oh, shit. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> we will be right back. All right, so we found him again. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Rillaboom. Balucha. I'm just writing down his team really quick. Trap Inch. So I did not think he would bring the Lapras, which is actually really surprising. Or the... Um, or the, uh, the, the uh, Trap Inch. Did I say that? I said Lapras. Okay, so like I said, we are leading Cursed Stone here. No doubt in my mind about it. We can lead uh, Darmanitan, but I don't think that's the play. I think leading Cursed Stone is what we want to do. Let me just enter these just a bit faster. I'm sorry. Um, my capture card's a little weird, so like the response time is a little slower than it honestly should be. So, I have everything ready to go. So, yeah, let's let's get it. We we are finally connected with them. Um, why is the black screen taking a lot? Is it just me or is it taking longer than I think it needs to be? Um, hmm. I don't think the black screen needs... Okay, we're good. We're good. So I do have Calx ready. He does lead the Incineroar, which is actually not the best scenario for us. You can go for the easy knockoff. I am sashed. So we are just going to get up the rocks. I'm not going to overthink it. We're just going to get up rocks here. Um, he can go for a U-turn. He does just go for straight for the knockoff. Um, and that does about as much as it probably was going to. 
Okay, so we don't see the Intimidate, which is actually uh, kind of what I expected because of in uh, Bisharp. So we are going to get up my rocks. Um, so we do have rocks up, which is actually really nice. So what does he do here? I'm just going to go for the Earthquake. I could Poltergeist, but he's faster, so there would be no point. I think he just clicks Knock Off again. Yeah, he does. Okay. So he's going to claim uh, the, li the life there. So Incineroar. Incineroar kills. Runerigus with Knock Off. We, we're going to go Darm. We're going to go to Manitan. Runerigus. with knockoff okay so on the off chance he wants to go into halucha here i'm just gonna go ahead and click rock slide it's gonna do pretty nice damage um i don't think incinero is in, in range for this to kill he can go for another knockoff but i don't think he does i think he might switch out here he can go for the parting shot which i feel like is kind of likely um, let me just close out of Discord really quick. Um, so let's see. It's taking a while to communicate. Um, I think he picked his move. So, don't know what that's about. Actually, you know what, let me just close Chrome. Because I had calcs open, but I don't think... <sighs> That's unfortunate. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, we should be good now. Um, I'm so sorry for the... The... Uh, <laughs> the, um, the disconnects. I'm sorry to I write. I honestly don't know what's happening. We're just going to go for rocks like, like last time. Uh, not think too much about it. I think we should be good. I think it might have been because I had a lot of tabs open. I had Discord and Google Chrome for calcs but now I just have OBS and the land play uh, a window so I hope it's good um, if we disconnect right now I'm gonna be so pissed off I'm not gonna lie let me turn off the Wi-Fi on my phone we're not even using Wi-Fi so I don't know if, I don't think it matters but Um, so it's either he's taking a long time to decide, or we might just disconnect again. Okay, no, he is going to withdraw. Um, who into Halucha? Okay, so that's honestly what I expected to come in. So we're going to get big damage off on this Halucha. The stones, um, rock slide. Let's see. How much is this going to do? Okay. We see... What do we see here? Weakness policy? Oh, leftovers, leftovers. Okay. So we know, okay, I want to I wanna write that down. Leftovers on Halucha. Leftovers. Oh, leftovers Halucha. Um, I kind of want to go for that again. No. Um, actually, yeah, let's go. Okay, so he already picked his move. Um, I picked mine. We're going for it again. Um, so yeah, hopefully we don't disconnect. If we... He's going to withdraw. Um, he probably expects me to be scarfed. He's going to go into the tramp inch here. Now, he can get up his rocks. Um, um, I kind of want to click that again. You are in range of another one. So let's just click it again. And we may be revealing that we're banded here. But at this point, I think it's okay. Just to claim a life. Darm kind of goes crazy. Darm's going crazy, I'm not going to lie. Darm's going kind of crazy. Um, so we see leftovers on Halucha. We don't see an item. He didn't reveal an item with Incineroar, which kind of leads me to believe that he's Boots. Um, which could be first impression. 
How much is that going to do? That's not going to do a lot of damage. Okay, so Incineroar, our Darman Incineroar is going to kill. Right? Yeah. Darmanitan kills Trap Inch with Rock Slide. He's going to go into the Rillaboom, which is actually a really good uh, switch. I'm not going to lie, because we can't click Flare Blitz. Um, grassy Surge kind of expected that. I kind of expect the Grassy Glide to come off. I think I'm going to go into my Noivern. Yeah, we're going to go into Noivern. So I think rocks are here to stay, honestly. I don't see any removal unless he does have Defog on the Halucha. So Noivern's going to come out. We are going to see the Assault Vest on the Rillaboom. Drain Punch. That's not going to do too much damage. Um, drain Punch. That's not what I wanted to write down. I wanted to write down Assault Vest. Assault Vest. So he can very well still be um, Assault Vested on the, the Incineroar, because we're allowed to bring two items. Um, I can drop a Draco here, but I think I just want to play it safe and go for the Air Slash. Air Slash seems to be the safest play. He is at full now because of Grassy Surge and um, Drain Punch Recovery. So I believe he picked his move already. Um, so we're just waiting for it to go through. I honestly can see the Grassy Glide come off. I can see him switching. He does indeed switch, but into who is the question? I would the Gothitelle. So the Gothitelle is going to take this Air Slash. And we'll see how much this does. Oh, it does very little damage. So that tells me that you are pretty especially defensive. You are leftovers. I expected that. Um, I kind of want to drop a Dark Pulse here. And that's what we're going to do. Um, I don't see what move he can get. That's, that's thumbnail probably. <sighs> that does so little damage. Flinch. Okay, we get the flinch, which I'm really sorry about. I'm really sorry about that. Um, leftovers. So it's definitely nowhere than it's nowhere near killing, but it does some good damage. I can I'm, I feel like I'm just gonna go ahead and click it again. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm nervous. I I really want to win this battle. <laughs> he is gonna withdraw uh, into who? The Incineroar to take this Dark Pulse. Um, so we do see boots. Uh, that does very little damage. Um, I don't know what I can do here. I feel like I might have to sack Noivern, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, well, let's just drop the Draco Meteor. And then we can go back into Darmanitan. Um, and I think my play would actually be the, to the U-turn instead of um, going for a Rock Slide. Oh, that does a pretty decent amount of damage. You get the special attack drop. I imagine he goes for the knockoff. He's going to knock off my boots. Um, and that does so much damage. But I think I just have to go for the more powerful attack and click Draco again. I have very little answers to this, um, this Incineroar, and I think it's probably going to kill here. He can go for the U-turn, which I will take very well. Uh, but we're going to drop a Draco. Let's see how much this does at minus two. Um, it's, no, it's not going to do as much. Yeah, no. So you are in range of a Rock Slide from Darmanitan. And you are probably going to kill with this. Yeah. So Incineroar. Nope. Incineroar. Sorry, I, I, just, I wrote the wrong thing. Incineroar. Kills. Noivern. With knockoff. Okay, I'm trying to go as fast as possible because I don't want to waste time. Um, you actually are in range of Gardevoir as well. 
but I think my I'm just gonna play it safe. Um, I can also U-turn here. U-turn seems like a pretty decent play, but we'll see. Um, I think he might try to go Rillaboom or maybe the Lapras. So we're just gonna U-turn here. Maybe we can pick up a kill. I feel like we might, um, cause we are banded. He can withdraw. If he withdraws, then we get uh, we switch out. Obviously, we get a free switch into something. He is not going to switch out. Um, does this kill? And it does. So Darmana can. Oh, uh, Darmana Tan. Darmana Tan kills Incineroar with U-turn. So that's a big threat out of the way. That's a big threat out of the way. And we are in a pretty good position. Um, I kind of want to go into my my um, Bisharp here. And like I said, pretty big threat out of the way. So. What does he do here? I feel like he could go Halucha. Halucha is pretty free to come in. Um, so yeah, I think Halucha might be his play. Because who's dead? Shrapinch and now Incineroar. And he actually goes into the Rillaboom. So I imagine he's probably going to cook Drain Punch here. So what do I want to do? I'm not faster than max speed Rillaboom. I can go for a Sucker Punch, honestly. But I think my best play would be to would be to switch into Necrozma. He does get knockoff too, so he can go for the knockoff, but it's not gonna kill Necrozma. I think Necrozma counts as grounded, so we are gonna get the um, the grassy terrain recovery too. He does go for the knockoff. Good play. Um, does a decent amount of damage. So we know he has knockoff. We know he's assault best. He does knock off my life orb, which is actually really unfortunate. Um, you know, we do get grassy terrain recovery as well as he does. And yeah, let's click Heat Wave. He's gonna go for the U-turn. That's gonna drop me down to a little below hell half. Oh, that's actually gonna drop me down like one fourth. Wow. Um, so something's gonna take this heat wave. Let's see what it is. Halucha could probably die to a heat wave, I'm not gonna lie. Um Oh, why am I having deja vu? He's gonna go into the Goth Tail. Okay. He was very bulky on the special side. We do land, that's also a thumbnail potential. Um, but now I feel like you are in range of another heat wave or dark pulse. But I think I have to go with the save replay and just go for the heat wave because you all after the, the recovery, I don't think you're in range of a dark pulse. You might be. You might be. I could also go for a photon geyser. Um. Yeah, well, let's go for another heat wave. I don't want to reveal more than I already have. Um, he's gonna go for the protect. Okay, nice. Stall out for more recovery. So that's good to know that it has that. Um, grassy terrain and leftovers recovery. Yikes. So I totally don't know what ability this is. I think it gets a generator. It could be also shadow tag. Do I want to risk the switch to, sh to Chuck? I think so. So let's try to go into uh, Bisharp here. Let's see. Okay, it is Shadow Tab. So Necrozma might go down here. Um, let's go for another Heat Wave. He avoids the attack, which is actually really bad, and he starts to set up. That's actually really bad for me. That's super bad.
That's unfortunate. I think I might lose to this Gothitelle, honestly. Since it's starting to set up, there's no way it doesn't have something for this Bisharp. Um, let's just go for the Dark Pulse and see what happens. And the, the, the sucky part about that is it knocked off my Life Orb, so it's not doing as much as, it, as I'd want it to. It's going to set up another Cosmic Power. Um, I honestly didn't think he was going to bring set up Gothitelle. So that's good on him. Um, obviously, he could be stored power, which would not be good for us. Um, so I think once Necrozma goes down, I bring in Bisharp and I just click, I click Sucker Punch. There's no way. There's no way that I... There's nothing else I can really do. Um, I believe I still have my Life Orb on on uh, Bouchard. I don't think he knocked it off. Dark Pulse. Let's see how much this does. Um, he's probably... He's going to set up Trick Room. And this is exactly what I was afraid of. Is a Trick Room in Gothitelle. Because I made most of my mons outspeed this thing. And it's going to outspeed me here too gonna go for the protect wow I think I might lose this game but if I can stall out the turns of trick room that's gonna be great um, so how many turns of trick room does it have you know, I have to go to info let's see trick room only three turns okay I think I can I think I can stall out these three turns I think Cosmic power. He's going to get a plus six. Um, you're in range of another, but you're probably going to go for a protect here. Which is fine. You're going to stall out your turns of trick room. So by all means, please, please keep going. Please go for a protect and stall out your turns of trick room. Because if not, I think it might die to another Dark Pulse. Even if they set up another Cosmic Power. I don't know if we're modest or not. I kind of forget that information. Um, but I believe we are modest. I know the one thing, because I did change up my EV spreads a little bit. So I know the one thing is... He does go for another Protect. So you're just wasting turns of chicken, which is fine. Which is fine. Um, that is fine by me. Let me open up Showdown on my phone because I know I have the thing here. Um, I am modest. Okay, so I have to hope for a crit Dark Pulse in order to kill this Gothitelle, I think. He can go for another Cosmic Power, but um, I don't know. I don't know what he does here. I think he probably goes for another Cosmic Power, if anything. Because why wouldn't he? he? He has the ability to. He's going to go for stored power. That's going to kill. Oh, no, it's, it actually doesn't. Okay. Dark Pulse. Let's see how much this does. Very little damage. Um, like I said, I had to hope for a crit. But now he's only getting leftover recovery, which is actually really nice. Um, and Trick Room did end. I think he picked his move already. Yeah, he's going to go for the Protect. Which is fine. This Goth tells him a whole issue. Um, I can honestly, I think they might be in range of a Heat Wave, but I don't know if I want to click that. Um, yeah, let's go for a Heat Wave. The power difference is going to be pretty big heat wave please land we land let's see if it's gonna kill no trick room wow I really hate this Gazatel how much is a photon geyser gonna do 
That's my question. Because I'm thinking with special attacks. Photon Geyser might hit from the physical side. Actually, no, it won't. It'll hit from the special side. I'm thinking I'm thinking Photon Geyser is like shell side arm with slow, bro, but it's not. Stored power. Um, this should not kill. Actually, oh, it is going to. It's going to kill. Okay. So, got to tell. Kills. Necrozma. With stored power. So my uh, my play is obviously into a sharp, and we click sucker punch. Um. Yeah, that's all I can really do. It stabs, so it might kill. They can go for the um, protect here. So part of me also wants to store its dance. It can't hit me with stored power, so I think it's only a possibility of taking this thing on would be to switch. So he has Halucha, Rillaboom, and Lapras in the back. So we're going to get up a sword stance. He could get in the Lapras. He's going to withdraw. Trick Room's up. He is going to get in the Lapras. Okay. So we're going to sword stance. Um... It could be physical Lapras with Drill Run, but I think I can take that, honestly. I have no HP investment, though. So let's go for the Iron Head. Um, Surf. Okay, how much is this going to do? Oh, that's a two-hit KO. How much is this going to do? I'm at plus one. It's going to kill. So Bisharp kills Lapras with Iron Head. So Bisharp. God, my hand's bad. Bisharp kills Lapras with Iron Head. Um, I can see him going call. Actually, he wouldn't go Halucha, but he, he'd go, he goes Gothita. Okay. Um... I feel like he might go for Protect, so we're just going to go for another Sword Stance. Um, it'd be lovely if he went for the Protect. He goes for the Cosmic Power. Okay, so he's starting his setup again. We're going to get up another Sword Stance. Um... And we are going to click Knock Off. We are plus four now. So Knock Off should kill. Um, I probably, I'm, I know I definitely outspeed this now that Trick Room's over. So Knock Off is going to kill the Gothitelle. And that's a big problem out of the way. So the Sharp. Kills. Got the tail. With knockoff. I did expect the Halucha to come on out. Um, we are going to go for a sucker punch. And let's see how much this does. Sucker punch. It failed. So what is he going for? He's going for a roost. Okay. Oh, that's a lot of recovery. And with leftovers? Yikes, yikes, yikes. Who do I have in the back? I have Darmanitan still, don't I? Yeah, I do. Okay. Um. Sucker Punch. He already picked his move. I'm just going to click going for Sucker Punch. He can go for another Roost to get up to full, which wouldn't be a bad idea. I probably should have clicked Knock Off. But it failed. Yeah, he goes for another Roost. Actually, he goes for Feather Dance. What does that do? That slows, that slows me down, doesn't it? That, oh, that makes my attack fall. Defiant. <laughs> I forgot about Defiant. Um, it's going to wear me down eventually. But it, I don't think it's ever going to get me to minus one. Actually, it might. Actually, it might. Um, on the off chance he goes for that again, I am I don't know if I want to knock off or I want to I'm gonna iron head. I'm gonna iron head for the most damage. Um, please go for that again. 
baton pass. So he's going to baton pass into the Rillaboom. Um, so we know he has that. Iron Head is going to do a really good amount of damage to this Rillaboom. We are at plus three now. Excuse me. And then Stone's damage. And we still have Darmanitan in the back as well. And Iron Head is going to kill. So Bisharp uh, cleans up here. Obviously, he still has the kills. Rillaboom. With Iron Head. I think. I have this one, and that's going to be week one for us. I think he just attacks here. I don't see why not. So we can, we're probably going to get the 2-0. Uh, he didn't attack. He went mean luck. This is how, this Halucha set. What is it? No longer can escape. Okay. That's fine. That is fine. Um... We're at plus three. Let's go for another sucker punch. What does he go for here? A feather dance? If he, I mean, it's actually not. It's not out of the question. Um, but it failed. Okay, what he went for a roost. He's gonna get back up to full. Now, are you going to attack me? The amount of times I went for Sucker Punch on this thing. Do I just click Iron Head? He could Feather Dance. Let's just click Iron Head. There's no point anymore. Um, the battle was canceled. Okay, so he just quit. Um, so I don't know how that's going to work. And he did message me saying GG. I'm going to tell him GG as well. And so, yeah, we win. Um, I don't know how that's going to work. I think I think we, I think we win 3-0. I don't know for sure. Um, thankfully, there were no more disconnects. I realized the problem was having too many tabs open. Again, I'm sorry to iWrite for that problem. Um, but we did claim our week one victory, which is just absolutely lovely. Um, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the new editing style. Um, and yeah, I think we are going to get out of here. We have everything we need. And so, yeah, that's going to be it for me. We did take home the week one victory. Next week, we play, play our good buddy, Shadow Stitch, and the Charlotte Chandelords. So be on the lookout for that. Um, and so, without being said, I'm Coach Scythe, your coach of the uh, Atlanta Braviaries. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.